We have an update on Kylie Ray. The WWE is looking to sign Impact Wrestling talent. Sammy Callahan teases he's headed on over to AEW. And does Moose holding the TNA title really make sense anymore? All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Before I get into it, just want to say I do have my own YouTube channel, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Please head on over there, hit that subscribe button, make me a happy person. Have some new content up there. Did a review on a uh, brand new promotion, Go Hard Pro. They had their debut show a few days ago. I do a review on that. There's no spoilers. So if you want to head on over, listen to the review. Uh, I don't give away any uh, any winners of the matches. There are no spoilers. So you could listen to the review. If you like the review, I have the link uh, where you can watch the, the whole show. It's on YouTube. It's free. There's no, no cost. Uh, head on over to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. And please, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. I, I would love for you to do that. You know, I, I love subscribers. So, yeah. So, if uh, if you like what you hear from me here on the Impact Lounge, maybe uh, give the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network a try. Head on over there and please hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Kylie Ray, have an update on Kylie Ray. Kylie Ray is back, so to speak. Not in Impact Wrestling, uh, but she was off social media completely for a while. And she has returned. She is back on Cameo. So she's doing uh, personalized Cameo videos for $55 um, per video. So you can head on over to Cameo. Here's a plug for you, Kylie Ray. You can head on over to Cameo and um, look up Kylie Ray. And you can get a Cameo, personalized Cameo video from Kylie Ray. And uh, I think that's good news. I think that's good news. I, I hope this is the first step in Kylie Ray making her way back to professional wrestling. I think it's good news. I think it's good news. It's because uh, she was off social media completely. She pulled herself off. And whatever issues that she was going through, I hope um, she's she's dealing with them. And uh, she comes back stronger and healthier than ever. Uh, but I see this, like I said, as the first step in her, uh, in her comeback. And I would love to see her back in an Impact Wrestling ring really soon because I, I miss Kylie Ray. I'm a big fan of Kylie Ray. She's very, very talented. And uh, I think she would be a a terrific, terrific candidate to hold the Impact Wrestling Knockouts title. I think her and Deanna Perrazzo would have a great feud. Uh, they were going to have that match. Unfortunately, we never got to see it. And I do think that we're going to see it. I do think that we're going to see that match between Kyler Ray and Deanna Perrazzo in the near future. Uh, she's still under contract with Impact Wrestling. Uh, from from what I understand, from what I've been reading, she has um, her in uh, Impact Wrestling. They there's no hard feelings between the two parties. And again, I'm hoping that uh, we see Kylie Ray back in Impact Wrestling very very soon. And I hope this is the first step. I hope the next step we'll see her back on Twitter and then on Facebook, and uh, she'll get um, more comfortable with social media, uh, and then she'll be able to make her return to professional wrestling and i'm sure uh, impact wrestling actually i have no doubt no doubt that impact wrestling will welcome her back with open arms and i do hope that we see that soon so again kyler ray back on cameo just looking at the my notes here uh kyler ray back on cameo and um, check it out. Check her out on Cameo. If you miss, uh, if you miss uh, Kylie Ray, you could get a personalized video from her. Another, uh, let's that, another pro, another uh, plug for Kylie Ray, because uh, I don't know if she's been making any money or not. So maybe uh, she needs to uh, make a little money. So uh, another plug. Head on over to Cameo. Head on over to Cameo. Type in Kylie Ray and get your personalized video from uh, Kylie Ray. Let, let's help Kylie Ray out. Let's help her out. Head on over there and um, and get a Cameo video from. Kylie Ray. All right. So remember when Triple H was uh, knocking Impact Wrestling? 
Remember when Triple H and uh, BQ, uh, he did a, a podcast on this. Remember when uh, Triple H was knocking Impact Wrestling, saying they don't know how they don't know how to um, develop stars. They they don't know how to use their wrestlers. Remember that? I do. I remember that. But hey, you know what? The all over the uh, all over the internet, there's reports running rampant, running rampant that uh, the WWE is looking to sign impact talent they're curious about the contracts that are um about to expire so they've been inquiring about that i've been inquiring about that hey but i you know i thought um i thought impact wrestling they don't know how to i thought they don't know how to handle their wrestlers apparently they do apparently they do because the wwe is looking to sign the talent and here's how i see it i think the wwe sees aew and impact wrestling creating all this buzz with this partnership and they're trying to kill the buzz they're trying to kill the buzz by signing some impact wrestling talent away to go to um, of course the wwe and i hope impact wrestling stays strong here i hope they they um they fight back strong and i hope whoever the wwe is interested in i know uh, ethan page his contract is up in a few days um who else? Uh, Taya Valkyrie, her uh, impact um, contract is up uh, apparently um, in early 2021. And I don't have any, uh, I don't have any um, backstage or um, any um, exclusive information. I, I don't, I'm not getting this from any, any uh, impact wrestling source, I should say. Um, just um, from what I've seen on the internet. So whether it's true or not, I'm just going by the reports that I see online and uh and there's a lot of them so uh ty valkyrie um apparently her contract is up early uh there's others rosemary uh, i believe moose contract is coming uh coming due i read uh rich swan's contract might be coming due um soon as well and there are um there are other other wrestlers and and wwe they're curious they're curious so what, what are they gonna do are they gonna sign everybody away Let's take Moose for example. They're gonna sign Moose, and they're gonna, is Moose gonna to want to go to the Performance Center and prove himself, and then uh, work his way up NXT and hope to get to the main roster? Uh, do do any of these guys can they learn their lesson from EC3? Can they learn their lesson from EC3? Maybe you know they saw what EC3 and even even um, uh, Bobby Roode. I mean, what's going on with Bobby Roode? Uh, I I think that I don't I don't necessarily think that WWE is interested in the talent. More so that they're interested in killing the buzz that's that's going on right now with AEW and Impact Wrestling because I think this partnership is going to be going on for a while, and the WWE is not happy about it. So they're looking to uh, swipe some talent. But I'm Scott Demore, Don Callis. You know they stay strong. Anthem, get get that money ready. Don't don't let the WWE steal steal your top guys. That's all I'm saying. Again, you know, if if uh, anyone wants to head to uh, WWE and and make more money, you know, that that's what it's all about. You know, earning a living. I'm just hoping that if the WWE say the WWE offers Ty Valkyrie a a nice contract, I'm just hoping Impact Wrestling matches or beats that contract to keep Ty Valkyrie financially secure and and in Impact Wrestling because that's I, I don't want them to leave. I don't want them to leave because we all know Impact Wrestling isn't doing their the best job in bringing in new talent to replace talent that they lose. So let's let's if let's let's keep the talent. Let's keep the talent. So again, WWE, you know, go for it, go for it, WWE. Uh, but my plea to Impact Wrestling is don't let the WWE get in there and swipe your talent. That's all I have to say. So, Sammy Callahan. Sammy Callahan has teased that uh, he will be going to. Um, he'll be headed to AEW. I'm gonna let me find the the tweet here. It's right here. I had it just up. The tweet. Okay. So, uh, Sammy Callahan. Sammy Callahan uh, responding to uh, Tony Khan. Tony Khan had indicated that uh, had invited. Um, Impact Wrestling talent to to show up at AEW. So Sammy Callahan might be taking him up on that. So Sammy Callahan in a tweet said, uh, quoting us, Tony Khan, he said, you're welcome to send uh, some of your people this week or any week. And so Sammy Callahan says, oh, really? That's good to know. And he's got a little thinking emoji. He's got a little thinking emoji at the bottom of that. Then he, that hashtag, the draw, uh, Impact Wrestling, AEW. He adds Tony Khan and he adds Tony Schiavone. I would absolutely love to see sammy callahan who's 
one of my favorite wrestlers in the world right now. I would love to see Sammy Callahan show up at AEW and start taking out some members of their roster. I think that would be fantastic. Don't don't bring Ken Shamrock. Right? Don't bring Ken Shamrock with you. Yeah, I would love to see him show up on his own with his baseball bat and start taking out AEW talent. I think that would be just fantastic. Just fantastic. And I do hope it happens. And I do hope we we do get a Sammy Callahan, John Moxley uh, match. Who knows? Maybe um, even uh, Sammy Callahan showing up at AEW and aligning himself with John Moxley as they feud with with Kenny Omega and other members of the AEW roster. I'd be all for that as well. I'd be all for that as well. But I, again, I would love to see Sammy Callahan showing up on AEW and start taking out taking out members of the AEW roster. I would love to see that. Absolutely love to see that. And I think you guys are with me on that as well. I think you would all love to see that as well. I think if if the one guy that could that could pull it off, that could show up at AEW, create a huge buzz and start taking out some members of the roster, it's definitely Sammy Callahan. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed that Sammy Callahan shows up at at uh, Impact Wrestling, at AEW, and takes out uh, starts taking out members of their roster. It would just be fantastic. I would absolutely love it. Then you could have AEW stars that he has taken out show up on Impact Wrestling looking for Sammy Callahan. So it's lots of poss- lot of possibilities there. Lots of possibilities there. And again, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I, I um, would love to see it happen. Speaking of which, I would love to see this guy right here in Impact Wrestling. Okay, I'm gonna. I, I put this picture up for a for a reason. I put this picture up for a reason. I would love to see this guy right here in Impact Wrestling. Aiden Prince. I put him right next to Kenny Omega. That, that, that would be a pretty good match, actually. Aiden Prince and Kenny Omega. So I just want to just want to um, plug Aiden Prince right here. So Impact Wrestling, please sign this man. Sign this man. Okay, so I, I got that uh, Aiden Prince plug out of the way i almost forgot about it but then i um i see the picture right behind me but uh yeah so sign this man impact wrestling he deserves a shot absolutely deserves a shot okay so moose let's talk about moose moose is still carrying the tna heavyweight championship sorry just have a little itch there uh TNA heavyweight champion. Does that make sense anymore? Especially with Kenny Omega in there now with the AEW world title and it's Impact Wrestling versus AEW, basically. Um, Initially, before Kenny Omega came in, I know they were going to eventually do the TNA uh, versus Impact Wrestling uh, title for title match. Uh, But now that you got Kenny Omega in there, it's kind of switched gears and now it's the AEW World champion versus the Impact Wrestling World Champion is what they're what they're headed towards. So, does it make sense for Moose to be carrying around that TNA title anymore, uh, unless they make it uh, an official title and he starts defending it against um, all comers? They could do that. Uh, he could maybe um, open have an open challenge and he could open it to to um, Impact Wrestling talent and AEW talent. Uh, they could do that, something like that. But but for him just to carry it around now as a prop, it just really doesn't make any sense anymore. Because uh, again, with Kenny Omega there with the AEW title, it just doesn't really make sense in my opinion. Unless, like I said, they uh, I know there's there were rumors that uh, there possibly a TNA show was uh, going to be coming. I'm not sure if they're still heading in that direction, uh, but if they are, maybe they're maybe if if they are heading in that direction, then yes, then it makes sense that he holds on to that TNA title because then he'll be the TNA champion on the TNA show, of course. But if they're not going in that direction, and they're pushing Kenny Omega and Rich Swan title for title, it really doesn't make sense, in my opinion. Now you might think differently. And if you disagree with me on Moose, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I, I completely respect that. I just think Moose uh, should no longer have the TNA title anymore. Um, or it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I should say it doesn't make sense for him to, to carry that title uh, at this time uh, anyway. Uh, okay, last but not least, last but not least, I just want to say um, a lot of people are out there. They're still saying that Tony Khan is going to buy Impact Wrestling. They're still saying that Tony Khan is going to buy Impact Wrestling. And I can guarantee you 
that Tony Khan is not going to buy Impact Wrestling. So let's get that out of our little heads. Okay, just this is a storyline. And people are watching the the uh, the paid advertisements on Impact Wrestling, or they're seeing the clips, and they're immediately thinking that Tony Khan is getting ready to buy Impact Wrestling. Tony Khan is not buying Impact Wrestling. I can guarantee it. Okay, I can guarantee it. If anybody wants to contact me and place a bet, I'll bet you any amount of money. Any amount of money that Tony Khan is not going to purchase Impact Wrestling from Anthem. Okay? So let's drop it. Let's drop it. Okay. Okay. On that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for lis listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.